Hello world, welcome to the second video in my troubleshooting playlist. Um, I have a channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. So go ahead and check out those videos and in um, the last video I did on this channel, I did a video where I could detect new IP addresses on my home Wi-Fi network. And as I was going to release the video, I kept getting an error and it was getting me very upset. And I even went on Stack Overflow and I couldn't find the exact answer. So the error I'm getting is called type error, unhashable type list, or you might see unhashable type dict for dictionary. And so let me show you how to fix that, or at least how I fixed it. So let's say I have a, uh, this is a simplified version of the code I was using, but basically it had a scanner and it had a uh, list or a dictionary of keys and values and it had everything, right? Like the vendor name, my MAC address, IP addresses. And uh, so this is just a shortened version of it. And in that scanner, I would get an IP address. So let's say this was like a laptop, then the IP address. This was the PS4. And this was an IP address. This was the, uh, I don't know, an iPhone and so on. And it would return this. Then it would um, make a list. And for each key and value in the scanner, so up here, items, uh, we appended the value, right? So a value, if you're not used to key in dictionary, this is the key, this is the value. So for every value in there, we're going to append to the scan right here all right and now this is just a shortened version there were several types of append and then so i took it and i made a code called a known ip list and for each ip in this scan then i'm going to append, append it to this ip list right so this ip into this ip list okay so it looks kind of funny it looks like i'm duplicating efforts but this is because it's just a shortened version of this code then I put it into a set. Okay, so when you put it into a set, you can do cool things like set.difference and find out the difference between this, uh, this known IP list, which is exactly what I did. So when I got to this point, though, so let's run this, I got this type error unhashable type list. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So one of the first reasons is let's take a look at what we're actually working with here by printing out, oh, I already have that, printing out this known IP list. And let's comment out this right here. So, all right, so this is what our list currently looks like. And this is not a normal list. It looks more like a dictionary, but it's not. And how do we know it's not? You can come here and go print type and pass it any variable and it will tell you the variable. So we're working with a list here and you can see that there are brackets around each one and then it's surrounded by brackets. That's not normal. So what, what's happening here is this is indeed a dictionary. You can tell by the curly bracket and a key and value. So we separated that and put it into a diction or an, an a list. Right, and then we appended just this to the list. So the first thing to check is, are you manually creating these brackets, right? Are you manually creating a dictionary within a list? And it turns out I was. So right here, when you append this IP, I was creating my own dictionary and it doesn't work like that. So let's take out that, right? So step one, check to see if you're manually adding a brackets to make it look like a dictionary to a list. So now that we removed these brackets that we had here, right? That's how it originally looked. Now, oh, and we forgot to print it. Now let's look what it looks like now. So this, now we just have the strings of the IP and you should be able to set a list in there. There you go. It finished with exit code zero, which means it's working just fine. Okay, so that's step one. That's the easy solution. 
that's what happened to me. So step two is you can turn the dictionary to a list. And um, there's a simple way to do that is like this. You take it and then you just call list and then you take the first index and the negative one index, which are just the brackets, right? So it takes off the brackets from here. Now, since we're working with the list, if you remember when we print out the type, what it'll actually do is this will just remove the uh, bracket, or it'll remove the first and last. See, now we only have three IP addresses, and one and five is gone. So this only works if you're working with a dictionary, okay? So the real way to fix it is to iterate through it and extract the values into its own list. So I want to show you a resource that I found from actually a friend of mine on YouTube called Data Analytics Ireland. He has a YouTube with the same name, so please give him a follow or a subscribe. And in it, he tells you how to uh, look, go through the list. So if you're getting this type error, unhashable type list like I am, see the list looks exactly like what we were talking about, except this one's a dictionary because you can tell by the right here. Then you can do this thing called iter tools. So you actually go through each one of these and then you create uh, its own list. So you're making a list from this set of list, and then you're iterating through this, and then it extracts just this right here, just these codes right here. And then in his uh, version, he removes the duplicates within the set. That's up to you. It depends on what project you're working on. So that's pretty much it. Um, check how you're building your list if you're especially if you're appending to something and see if you're making putting brackets around a thing the second one is if you're working with a dictionary try changing it to a list and then removing the brackets manually and again just know if this is already a list you're just going to remove the first and last values and you don't want that and then finally if those don't work and I will leave a link in the description to this article. Then you go here and iterate through it and fix it yourself. All right. So I hope this helps somebody. As long as it helps one person, I'm okay. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see me build my own digital assistant named Shane. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.